continue reporting on this story. Joining us right now, Nima Romani, the president and co-founder of West Coast Trial Lawyers. Uh, Nima, thank you for being with us. This story isn't just tragic. Uh, this story will require that someone be held liable for the death of this woman, of the director of photography, uh, Helena Hutchins, who died leaving behind her husband and her son. Is this first and foremost a civil case? And this is a civil case. We're going to see a, a wrongful death lawsuit on behalf of Matt Hutchins and uh, Helena's son. And there's no question here that there's civil liability on behalf of the production company, the armorer, and maybe even the assistant director and Baldwin himself. So, so really, that's the question. You see this uh, domino of checks and balances that appear either they were missed or they were not handled correctly for so many uh, steps to be missed along the way that someone could have not seen that there was loaded ammunition in that gun. Obviously, uh, Alec Baldwin is entrusting the team that he has around him to hand him the gun that is safe to use in this scene. So who do you think is going to be held most responsible, at least at first glance? Well, the real question here is criminal liability. Who will be charged and what will those charges be? Baldwin, as the executive producer of The Rust, is also liable for the actions of his employees in the course and scope of their employment. So that low civil standard, that simple negligence, preponderance of the evidence standard is met. The question is, will Hannah Gutierrez, will someone else be charged in this case? And what will those charges be? My expectation is that she's facing manslaughter charges for gross or criminal negligence if she was the one who indeed loaded that prop gun with a live round. And you mentioned uh, Hannah Gutierrez. That is the name of the young woman who uh, was the armorer on the set of this film. She would have been checking the prop guns that we've, talking, uh, we've spoken to an armory expert who says that this was not a prop. This was a real weapon. It just happened to be used in the scene. It w should not have contained any type of ammunition. Uh, what could the charges be if Alec Baldwin, and again, this is very early on in this situation, uh, but if Alec Baldwin was found criminally negligent in this case, what kind of sentencing are we looking at here? Years in prison if indeed manslaughter charges are filed there in New Mexico. Um, potentially 18 months or more if it's a fourth degree or greater manslaughter. But for manslaughter charges to be filed against Baldwin, he would need some sort of knowledge. It's a much higher standard than a civil case for prosecutors to bring criminal charges. You really need that guilty mind or mens rea. So that simple negligence standard just isn't enough. You need gross negligence or actual intent for there to be manslaughter or even murder charges in a case like this. Which, from the looks of things, and again, this is just our uh, quick observation based on the information that's come out just this weekend, this was an accident on set. Uh, and Alec Baldwin was handed that weapon by a member of his crew. Sadly, someone died. Thank you so much, Nima Romani from uh, West Coast Trial Lawyers. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. What well, was a really 